How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another NHL 15 shootout commentary. And you know, I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't have to do another NHL 15 gameplay type video on old gen, just because I know it's going to be counterintuitive to what I learned in the NHL 16 beta, right? But I've been seeing this comment pop up a lot about the Patrick Kane situation, the alleged rape. And you know, for the longest time, I didn't want to talk about it just because I think we should respect it and wait for all the information to come out. But since EA Sports removed Patrick Kane from the NHL 16 cover, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people condemning Patrick Kane in the court of public opinion. And, you know, I don't think that's fair, man. It is what it is. I mean, the world that we live in of social media, you know, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to run wild and, and spread quickly. But, um, you know, what does the law state, boys? You're innocent until proven guilty, right? Unless I'm unaware of information that's currently out there, unless I look like an idiot because I put this video out and the information comes right out afterwards, right? He's innocent until proven guilty. We don't know what happens. I mean, it's such a difference, too. I mean, he can go from... This is actually good. Create a game session. This is actually good that the game can't find anyone for me. Uh, I actually don't want to talk about this because this is no joke, man. But um, this is the difference from my mindset of Patrick Kane going from a player that I love to watch every single year to somebody who I actually will think of as a scumbag garbage piece of shit that I don't want to watch anymore, man. I mean, we all we we all had mothers at one point in our lives. That's how we came into this world. How would you feel if your mom told you a story about how she was raped when she was 20 years old? What would you want to do to that guy? I'd want to find him and rip his fucking throat out, right? I mean, rape uh, Look at look at look at what Jared Stoll and Mike Richards did with the drug situation. All right? That's nothing in comparison to what Patrick Kane allegedly did, if he is guilty. Rape, all right, is on a completely different level. In my opinion, I'm taking Patrick Kane out of the shootout as well, just because EA Sports had the right idea. You have to protect yourself. I do not condone what Patrick Kane allegedly did, right? But back to what I was saying about Mike Richards and uh, Jared Stoll. You know, drug charges are nothing in comparison to rape. Rape, in my opinion, is up there with the worst of the worst crimes, all right? Child molestation, uh, 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 kidnapping, murder. Uh, you're psychologically scarring people for the rest of their lives. These rape victims, you know, you think that they can just get on with their lives. No, they can't, man. They can't deal with being out in public anymore. They don't trust people, all right? They remember that shit. They don't feel secure. That, that's fucked up, man. That's not cool at all. So, again, I'm not condemning Patrick Kane. He is innocent until proven guilty, right? But also, if he does end up, if the charges end up being laid and he is a rapist, fucking scumbag, garbage, piece of shit. And it's going to be interesting to see what the Chicago Blackhawks do. Now, we'll get into the, oh, oh, you dirty little Dotsuk. You, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll get into this afterwards, boys. I haven't done a shootout in a while. Dotsuk fucked me sideways right there. Oh, my God. Literally, look. I went, he went right, I went left. You know what? That fuck me sideways joke is probably not, uh, <laughs> probably not appropriate for this video. I take that back. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Jonathan Taze, let's get into this. Um, what do we want to do? Yeah, let's bring back all the shots here, right? No wrist shots. Let's try Balotelli. Balotelli. Oh, kick it in! Oh, I had it! The left side of the net was open! Oh, I just missed it. Jonathan Taser. And do you guys agree that Jonathan Taves should get a goddamn second solo cover in five years? NHL 11, now NHL 16? I mean, no doubt he's got the skill. Where's the Toronto Maple Leaf? Why don't you put a leaf on... I, um, actually, know what? Never mind. I take that back. I just realized how stupid that sounded. Here we go. What do you got for me? Dirty birdie! Nowhere to go! And you know what? I noticed something about the NHL 16 beta. When we were going up against good teams and we finally managed to get a breakaway... The goaltenders pulling off dirty birdies, that might be the new breakaway move for NHL 16 because of the deking and how you can't just stop and like rip it like that, like last second. I don't know, man. I, I noticed it worked. Oh, what do you got for? Oh, I almost got it underneath him. Kimo Tiemannen. And the reason I put Tiemannen in there because he scored a dirty shorthanded goal for me in my Toronto Maple Leaf season playoff mode. I won't spoil it for you. He's a game changer though. Trade deadline pickup. Henrik Zetterberg, the Super Swedes. I love all Super Swedes now. Oh, look at this guy. Shielding that puck. What do you got for me, son? No, you didn't get me. No. Oh, you got me. Oh. All right, that's his move. You see that with lefties? He likes to, at the last second, and then drag it and see. Boom. See, that's why I think the Dirty Bird, I don't know if you can do that in NHL 16. Come to a complete stop like that while stick handling. I think your guy will keep on going forward. So that's why the Dirty Bird, the closer you get to the goaltender, the harder it, the harder it is to flip it up. Uh, Left-handed shot. What do we want to do? I don't even know. I don't even know. You know what? I know. Oh, to the spinner ammo. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Oh, no! He came out and did a dirty bird. You getting aggressive on me? You little prick. 
You look at him. He's in the white. He's at the damn hash marks doing a dirty birdie. All right. Corey Crawford, let's go. If you're an elite goal, well, you know what? Can we call Corey Crawford an elite goaltender now? He's got two Stanley Cup rings. Uh, what you got for me? No, 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 no! <laughs> just, I got smoked in the shootout. The Detroit Red Wings toasted me. I mean, you know what? Any of the haters against Corey Crawford, Cor Corey, just pull off the Patrick Waugh excuse. You can't hear them because you got two rings plug in your ears. All right? Jesus, this guy smoked me. In quick fashion as well. All right, you know what? That's good. We can get right back into this. Now, I forget exactly where I uh, ended off. I think I was talking about uh, the severity of rape, right? So... I want to know, well, you know what, before we get into that, I just want to read you guys the quote from EA Sports for taking off Patrick Kane from their cover. In light of the ongoing investigation involving Patrick Kane, he will no longer be a spokesperson for the launch of EA Sports' NHL 16. He will, not, he will not appear on the EA Sports NHL 16 cover, nor participate in other EA Sports NHL 16 promotional activities. All right. So, I think this is a good move by uh, EA Sports. You know, they have stockholders. They have investors. They're a public, uh, publicly owned company. Um, they have to brace themselves, protect themselves. They certainly don't want a rapist on their cover of their new game, right? So, I agree with what EA Sports has done. But... Again, going back to the court of public opinion, what I don't like is people seeing that Kane was taking off the cover and assuming that EA Sports has information that we don't. Assuming that all EA Sports knows that he's a rapist, he's a rapist. End of story. No. EA Sports is doing this to protect themselves in case charges are laid against Patrick Kane. In case they're protecting themselves. All right, boys? So again, innocent until proven guilty. But if he's a guilty, he's a scumbag, garbage piece of shit. And this is the question I want to put to you guys. What do the Chicago Blackhawks... Let's just assume, assume hypothetically, this is not true. Hypothetically assume that Patrick Kane is guilty. All right? Let's say he's guilty. The victim was raped. What do the Chicago Blackhawks do? What does the NHL do? What does, well, first of all, what does Johnny Law do? I didn't even look into this. What would be the charges late to, like, jail time? I mean, but what would the Chicago Blackhawks do? Let's say it's something like the uh, Michael Vick situation where maybe he serves some jail time, because, but because he signed that new contract, he comes back, or would the NHL scratch the contract? You know what? I should have done some more research before I started talking about this. I don't even know what would happen, right? But let's just say, hypothetically, the Chicago Blackhawks, they can move him. Would you try to move him, or would you try to hold off and wait for this to pass by? I ah, fuck, man. If I'm Chicago, you gotta move him. But then again, what other team would want to take a rapist? This is fucked, man. Patrick Kane, I, I love watching him play hockey, especially in the playoffs. But like I said, this is not some, you know, some assault charge where he just punched somebody or said something stupid and it's just being ripped apart. Or, or like, like I said, even drug charges, you know? Those guys, they're just doing that shit to themselves. Rape is on another fucking level, man. So... Uh, this is, this is, I don't know what to say, boys. I really don't. So I'll just end this video with this. He's innocent until proven guilty, but if he's guilty, he's a scumbag garbage piece of shit. All right. End of story. So boys, let's wait for the information until then. Let's just, let's keep our mouths shut. All right. We'll wait for the cops to, to, to sort it all out for us. All right, boys. So there you go. And I'll see you in the next one.